we can't just get over it, not just as Indigenous people, and we can't just get over it as a country. After last week's horrific discovery of the remains of 215 children on the grounds of a former residential school in Kamloops, there's been talk about Canada's history. I welcome those discussions. I welcome the ability to have those um, unfold before us so that we can get to the crux of the problem of true reconciliation. In North Vancouver, the school district has provided teachers and staff with resources to help with lessons and the difficult discussions expected to take place in classrooms and at home. On Monday, the Indigenous education team held a drum circle to honour the lives lost and to support one another. We encourage kids as young as five to continue to ask questions to teachers, but also ask questions to their parents because ultimately it's uh, the entire community that needs to come together. I think uh, for, for us Indigenous people standing here, we always knew that there were these graves at these residential schools, and I think uh, with it becoming public knowledge, uh, it, 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 it definitely uh, allowed the awareness to increase and have, have, our non, have the non-Indigenous parents ask more questions of what we're doing in our schools to, to support all learners. And then, so it's definitely allowed us, our voice, to be amplified. The North Vancouver School District has also laid 215 stuffed animals, one for each discovered child. I think we go back to what Murray Sinclair said, who was one of the main authors of the Truth and Reconciliation Final Report. Uh, sit and listen, show respect, and don't don't overtalk the Indigenous people of this country. The Indian Residential School Survivor Society has shared a number of tips about what to do if you want to help, with suggestions like learning about the impact of the Indian Residential School System, actively listening to people of First Nations, Inuit and Métis backgrounds, standing up to stereotypes, prejudice and systemic racism, and supporting Indigenous-led community organizations. I think the first step is just um, one doing your own research and the historical context of these residential schools. Don't sit in silence and let the misinformation and, and um, racial rhetoric continue. While she's glad more conversations have been started around residential schools, Angela White with the Indian Residential School Survivor Society says there also needs to be accountability. The only way we can actually move mountains to ensure that reconciliation really happens is making sure the rest of Canada gets on board and starts pushing the federal government, the provincial governments, the municipal governments into being accountable. And a reminder, there is support if you need it. If any of your readers, doesn't matter where they're, where they're from, just make sure that they reach out and call. Know that you're not alone in this process. In North Vancouver, Miranda Fatour, City News.